There she is, everybody. There's Buttercup. I want to get her back, back to the camp. I'm like a nervous daddy. Oh, there's my girl. There she is. I can't thank you enough. I love this snake. I miss her. Come on, Buttercup. Oh, don't do that. Oh my gosh, my girl. If you look at the bottom of the snake, you see those belly scales. They can walk on those scales. And she, she's beautiful. She's still friendly, thank goodness. Uh, 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 That's Storm Shadow. Shadow. Storm Shadow, yeah. Oh, named, named after the white ninja from G.I. Oh, Joe. It's already. See, she was blown up and, and, and made some some noise. And, oh, okay. See, so, this is heated. Gotcha. So this animal and, had a little bit of a respiratory yeah, infection. Yeah, and I was getting ready to call it that today, and I probably still will, but... Um, he did hit a lot better. Yeah, very cool. Sometimes, yeah. you know, you get lucky and you can heat them up and they'll be all right, but it would be smart to call Dr. Gillen. Yeah. Uh, PGA yeah. Animal Clinic, so he knows reptiles. Yeah. Oh my God, check it out, look at this. He got another gift, it's a caiman lizard. These guys will give you a pretty good bite though, huh? Yeah, if you let him, but right now he's mostly interested in the food. Awesome, a real caiman lizard, I love and these guys. And this is, um, I think I just learned something. What? How to absolutely sex these things. All right, how do you absolutely sex it? Well, I'm not gonna grab that thing right now okay. and upset it, but Oops, right sorry. around the, the cloacal area, uh -huh. there's a patch of scales. Okay. And those scales are either in a linear position, Okay. In line. In line, right? Very trembled up cluster. Okay. If they are in a cluster, it's a female. If they're linear, right next to the vent. It's a male. And my threat, thank you, Mike, showed me just the other day and sent me some photos. Very cool. And that has been absolutely identified as a female. Oh, well, there you go. All right. And we know Mike Lorette on the channel as well. We've done some American Crocodile work with him uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, and oh, hi, everybody. We're back at Fred's. Uh, today, we're going to get, I want to give you guys an update on um, our friend Buttercup, because Fred's been watching her. And uh, we're going to go pull her out. I might want to just get her outside and just, I haven't visited with her in a little while. I miss her. Uh, Fred's been great to me taking care of her while I wait the permit. Um, here's the situation, guys. I'm waiting on the permit. I was asked for more materials. I gave them the materials. Right now, it's in Fish and Wildlife's hands. Um, hopefully, um, I get approved and I can get this animal back home. Um, I'm just super grateful that I had Fred and he had a cage that he would put her in. There she is, everybody. There's Buttercup. I want to get her back. Back to the camp. Oh yeah, watch out for that feed response. Let me see. Yes, yeah, get watch out now. She yes, she always had a healthy good. feed response, buddy. Are you good? Are you good? Yeah, yeah, usually, yeah, that's it. You know what you're yeah. doing, I'm sorry. I'm like a nervous daddy. <laughs> oh, there's my girl. Let's pull her out, it's been so long. I think she's got the idea. Oh, she's heavy. She is, man, let me. She does eat a lot. Yes, I know, and. Um... I don't know who that. Oh, oh my God. Not easy with one hand, huh? There she is. Thank you, buddy. I, I can't thank you enough. I love this snake. I miss her. Can, do you know mind if we go out with her, do you? I think people would... Uh, come on, buttercup. Oh, don't do that. I'm just going to make her. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, my gosh. My girl. I gotta be careful that she doesn't go around my neck. Yeah, I'll do that, Fred. Just, you know, I kind of have a situation. Oh, you're fine. Just keep running. Yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, again, I uh, always have a lot of, well, want to put her right out I'm in the grass? The grass yeah, let's go out in the grass, get her. Oh, come here, girl. Oh, she's sliding. She's sliding. There she is. Oh, gosh, I missed a snake. Fred, man. I hope everything works out. I want my snake back. She's yeah, just a... Yeah, I'm starting to like her a lot. Oh, no. Yeah. No, dude. Well, you know, here's the situation, buddy. I mean, if um, if things don't work out with Fish and Wildlife, I'm going to hope you'll want to keep her because I know it's a lot of work for you, but 
I don't know where else I'd want her to be. Well, I tell you, she is such a beautiful um, reptile. And um, I don't know how you could not throw her over this thing. Yeah, she's a good girl, man. Um, she actually came from a guy named Jay Flynn, who years ago, um, you know, he was just had some health issues and the, the laws changed years ago and he didn't have the right permits. So she was um, donated, not necessarily donated, but fish, um, Bush Wildlife Sanctuary contacted me and said, Kenan, you've got your par Burmese Python permit. Do you want this animal? And she, you know, once I met her, and saw her, um, how can you say no to a beautiful creature like this? She's, uh, you know, an albino, so there's no real risk of her getting out and surviving in the wild um, if there was some kind of calamity. And of course, we have protocols in place where if there's some kind of natural um, disaster impending, like a hurricane or tornado or something like that, we, 24 hours prior, bag this animal up, put it in a locked box. And so we're, you know, we're very careful with these animals. Um, we've been doing a great job with the conditional species uh, permit with Fish and Wildlife, and now they've moved them to the prohibitive uh, species. So there's a few more criteria that we have to meet in order to keep these animals um, as we've been doing for many, many years. She is the only prohibited species that I would possess and she's an ambassador animal. You guys know, you follow the channel. It's all about education. Um, what better way to educate people about invasive species here in Florida than this gorgeous Burmese python? Because uh, as we know, there is a problem in the Everglades. Um, but I, I just, you know, even though she's an ambassador animal, you fall in love with them. You know, right, Fred? I mean, it's uh, just... Yeah, that, um, I've been, I, uh, I did think about Introducing her to a boyfriend, but I <laughs> no, thought, no, I I th he's joking. First. He's joking. He's joking because actually, it's he's totally kidding because um, you're not even allowed to pair these animals up any longer. Um, that is the law. You cannot make babies of Burmese pythons. Um, I don't even think you can do it if you are I, I, a. Uh, I didn't think that went that path actually yet. Oh, is that true? But it, well, it may, yes. <laughs> I, I think I think that's gonna pass. Um, personally for me, I am not interested in breeding them. Um, you know, like I said, I think she's just a fantastic animal. I, you know, I work with bush wildlife. I had the permits. So this animal is, uh, an animal that was basically, is basically here just to be, uh, a, a teacher of sorts. But, um, I'll tell you, I do miss her. Um, you know, I've got that beautiful enclosure I built for her and it, Right now there's a croc monitor in it, but that animal's not gonna stay forever. And um, as soon as I'm able to get her back, Fred, I will come get her back from you. Uh, I'm not even you. I know, I know you are. This is, you know, and I do uh, help Fred out. Um, you know, I'm gonna give him some money for the rodents she's eaten. Um, so I'm still gonna financially be responsible for this animal. Um, I do owe him some money, so I'm gonna make sure I get him squared away when I get her back um, because, you know, he's doing me a solid. Look, a big snake is a lot of work and Fred's got a few of them, um, especially we're dealing with some cooler temps. Right now it's about 70 degrees it's warmed up to. Um, so we're outside. Uh, it's just, I just appreciate everything Fred does for me uh, has been a great friend over the years. I hope you think I've been a good friend too, dude. Uh, you're taking care of me just fine, Kenny. Uh, you know cool. what? We're friends. Yeah. Have been for a long time. And friends do friends favors. That's, you know what, man? Uh, if I can help you, I'll help you. Thanks, buddy. I, I mean, it wasn't like I gave you a cat to take care of, you know? <laughs> just kidding. Uh, just, uh, just awesome to see her. So right now, guys, um, Basically, in order for me to give this animal to Fred, I had to fill out a transfer form. A tape measure. Yeah, let's do it. Let's measure it. Let's see how big she is, man. Okay, so, yes. uh, all right, what do you guys think? Comment below right now while you're watching the video. How big do you think she's going to be? Um, I know it's not a live video, but she's starting to straighten herself out. We'll get a rough estimate. I'm going to go with 13 and a half foot. Um, she's pretty big, but in order for her to come here, I had to write a transfer and send and let the, um, let the state know that I no longer am in possession, that Fred's holding it as a favor to me because he's licensed. I didn't want to run afoul of fish and wildlife. I try to do everything on the up and up. Um, and so, uh, in order to get her back, we have to do another transfer order. 
Um, but hopefully it'll work out. Here, let me grab that. Yeah, this is exciting. Key. I said, key. I said 13 and a half, but let's see. Let's see. Oh, Can she's. Can you hit it? Wait, she's stretching. You hit it right on the head. I hit it on the head. 13 and a half. Look at that, 13 and a half foot. We got a nice measurement. Um, we, you could probably stretch her out to maybe almost 14. Yeah, she was in perfectly straight line. Let's lie. Do you guys want to lie a little bit? She's 14 foot. All right, All right 14 foot. Yeah, pretty cool. I think she had five inches in those coils there that were somewhat slender. She is beautiful, man. Uh, this is my favorite uh, type of locomotion that a snake does. Recta, rector linear locomotion. They're, she's actually undulating her stomach and her belly scales, right? If you look at the bottom of a snake, you see those, vent, those, those belly scales and they can walk on those scales. So she pulls the muscles towards her spine. It causes the scale to flip down and then she belly crawls all the way around. And this is just one of those interesting forms of locomotion. I just like the word. There are some words I just really love to say. Rectilinear uh, locomotion is one of them. I just think it's a really cool term. Um, and this is also probably one of the ways non-snake people, when they see a snake moving like this, they're just mystified that a snake can get around so well uh, without even doing its, its kind of S shape. So very, very good stuff. In fact, there's a, the brown tree snake um, they showed uh, scientists were showing how it could walk up or rather climb up a light pole that's very, very slim by throwing itself in a lasso and it kind of walks up. There's also footage of a boa constrictor doing that as well up a uh, palm tree. So um, snakes are way more capable, again, than most people give them credit for. This is awesome, man. It's just good to see her. I hope you guys appreciate it. I just wanted to show you What's been going on with Buttercup? So many of you have been emailing me and concerned about her. She's in good hands. Um, I'm glad Fred had that enclosure set up. She's eating, she got nice weight. She's beautiful, she's still friendly, thank goodness. Um, I just hope I can get her back because I don't know if you guys feel like this, but when one of your animals isn't with you or, or you're missing anything you love, it feels like a small piece of you is gone and you're just not quite whole. Um, and that's kind of how I feel. So uh, I want to get her back so we can continue to do uh, really cool educational tours with her. And um, that's it. So thank you, Fred. I appreciate it. Um, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell Fred you love him in the comments. Uh, do, the, do that for me. Um, and uh, you, know, you can also see Fred on Chandler's Wildlife, uh, another great channel you guys should be watching. Um, there you go. So I'm just going to leave you guys with a shot of our beautiful buttercup as we give her a little exercise and you can see how pin straight she almost is here. Fred, how tall are you, buddy? Uh, I'm only 5'7". There you go, 5'7". Look at this beauty. Unbelievable. What a gorgeous animal. Let's do a little Fred, Fred uh, measurements here. She is moving, you know. And now she's 15. <laughs> she's 15 feet. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. All right, guys, like and subscribe. Thank you so much. I'll see you all soon. That is great, man. She's a beauty. See you, sweetie.